morning everybody. I have returned to a location that I filmed around three years ago when I first got this Sony and... Anyway, um, this is the location that I visited and I filmed about three years ago when I first got my Sony, I was comparing it to my Canon and it's probably one of my first proper landscape videos uh, three years ago. It is called Barma Farm. Well, specifically you pass through Barma Farm. I think that this might be the property of Barma Farm. At the moment, I'm on a private path, so be respectful to the owners. If they tell you to get off the land, then get off the land. But there is a path here. You can probably see that there are some tracks uh, that I was walking on, so I'm not walking straight across um, a harvest or anything. So essentially, I filmed this three years ago and I came here earlier this year probably June or July, I didn't film it, but uh, I've got some drone footage and you can see that it was an absolutely glorious day. But what I failed to notice at the time, because I was so excited, was that there was some lens flare creeping into my shot and I should have shielded the lens. I wasn't using any filters, it wasn't anything to do with that. It was purely, the sun was just out of frame, didn't have a lens hood on I don't think, and uh, I feel like I have to return. So here I am. In my video three years ago, I jumped over this fence. I cut my jeans on this barbed wire fence, which I deserved. You don't need to, to get this vantage point whatsoever. Um, you can just stay here on the path, much easier. What I'll do is I'll spin the camera around to the actual scene itself, and then I'll talk you through why I've come here this morning and what I'm hoping for in terms of weather. Now this is the view, this is around 35 millimeters, um, but I'll actually be using a telephoto lens, probably around, the 100 millimeter mark. I'll let you know when I get that out. But the idea is that this is one of the few compositions of my South Downs photography that does actually require a lot of sky. You can see how much sky this involves. So you need a good sky. When I came here earlier in the summer, which is when the sun is just out of frame over here, the sky wasn't fantastic. So the more and more I go out and the more I hang around with, really good landscape photographers, the better I understand the weather patterns. I also passed my drone test earlier on in the year and one of the things you have to do is learn about cloud formations, weather fronts, wind direction, etc. So all of that combined is helping me understand the weather patterns. So the app that I use, this app is called Clear Out, so it seems to be uh, the go-to and it gives you a lot of information. So it's here we are, we've got sunrise here. And what we're looking at for this location in Lewis is 45% cloud. Uh, but the good thing is that the majority of it is medium and high. There wasn't any medium clouds predicted when I looked at this yesterday and last night. What you want is high cloud because that is what catches the color of the sunrise. Any low cloud you've got is going to completely block the sun getting onto your scene. So these medium clouds here have kind of jumped in at the last minute but ideally you'd have no low clouds maybe some medium clouds and then all high level clouds because that's when you're going to get a really bright vibrant sunrise now this medium cloud is going to ruin my morning anyway at 400 millimeters you can just about make out in the background kingston windmill which it's it's quite hazy at the moment uh, and this is not the ideal position to be photographing it from but if you're on the other side of the road which would be the south side of the road shooting from Falmer direction which is what I did with Pablo uh, maybe January or February of this year it was freezing it's so cold but um, I have to say when you've got some frost on the fields or some snow on the fields and the windmill is just on the top of the hill it looks kind of nice actually so I think I'm going to revisit that for a video hold well on that's the sun there that's not what I wanted the sun to look like this morning. I think I've got about 15 or 20 minutes wait for the sun to be in between those clouds. Whilst I wait for the good light, I think I'm just gonna send the drone up because sometimes the light doesn't look great from here or the scene doesn't look great from here. And in overcast conditions and things like that, you can still get some really good drone images. So kind of, uh, you're changing your perspective. You're looking up, cutting out the sky, looking down and actually, Although I've not got a strong directional light here, it's really soft, patterly colours and everything. So it's actually a really nice scene, it's just not the, it's not the punchy, colourful sky that I was predicted. I didn't have the 
luxury of just landing on anywhere flat. Everything around me is long grass. It's long grass or it's a hill. Not ideal for taking off with a drone or landing. So I've taken the drone off from the lid of my camera bag and I've landed it on the lid of my camera bag. And look at the precision of this landing. Is that exactly the precision of landing a drone on your bag? Nobody wants to be landing a drone like that. So yeah, happy with that. Got the drone back in one piece. <laughs> It's starting to get a bit more interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's an illusion because as soon as you feel sun on your face, you get all excited. Because I don't know if this is a, a well-known fact, but I'm actually solar powered. So when the, when the sun goes down, I just get really sad. And then when the sun comes up, I start to jiggle a bit, start to get e energetic. So yeah, but you didn't know that. I'm solar powered. Yeah, that's looking good. Very, very subtle, hazy looking image. It's not what I came for, but I like it. What I've found from photographing this location a handful of times now is that the horizon always looks off, regardless of whether it is, because there's no datum. Essentially the background is just hills, 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 hills. There's a windmill in the far distance but there's nothing to kind of gauge. Um, so you can see here, I actually use the spirit level on the camera, but sometimes you actually have to just twist the image so it looks correct. Otherwise people will say, oh, I can't look at this anymore, the horizon's off. It's all gone a bit manic. I mean, it's not crazy light, but it's the best light I'm gonna get because the sun is literally just going up into the top of the clouds. Yeah, I think that's it. Bit of a frantic two minutes where the, the light just became a bit cleaner before it's disappeared into the clouds. Now that's it, I think. Well, that wasn't exactly as predicted. Weather people, if you're watching this, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed in you. Try harder next time. Doing a bit of time travel here, I'm back. It's later on in the week. I didn't really get the results that I was after the first time I visited here. This is actually my third time here this week. I just can't let it go. Coming to a place and not getting some shots. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I've got a horrible cold. It's cold and windy, but I've got some good conditions. I've got just a little slither of cloud on the horizon and then just clear sky up above. Now you might think, oh, that's a bit boring, but actually I've got just maybe 25% of this image is the sky anyway. What you want for a location like this is just clear, sunshine cutting through to light the hills. If you're cutting out the sky or you've just got a minimal amount of sky in your shot, then clear blue sky days, that's what you want. the light I've been waiting for. Let's take some photos. I've been here too many times already. I'm being very careful to avoid sun flare, making sure that I get the technique spot on today because this is good. These are perfect conditions for this location. Um, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but uh, I've been here various times of the year. At the moment, it's just coming into autumn. Summer is perfect for this location, although it's tough. You have to get up about four o'clock in the morning to get here. In the winter, you'll be shooting straight into the sun. So this is not a winter location. This is more summer, maybe autumn. I'm gonna duck down here out of the wind because it's 
Oh god damn it's choppy. It's starting to feel a bit like autumn and winter now. Well, that was a very successful sunrise. No regrets in coming here over and over and over again. It seems to be what I do. I know that earlier on in the video I was saying that I was using a spirit level. I I know that I've taken the images and the horizon is level in camera but I might have to change some of them in post processing just because the hills here they don't look quite right when you've got it all level. The landscape did all the hard work here I've just turned up and pointed my camera at it. Well hopefully you enjoyed this video bit of time travel sometimes it doesn't always pan out the first time you visit a location and I'd rather not just scrap the entire video sometimes sometimes it works. Did it work? I don't know. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Why not leave a comment? I'll see you in the next video.